Hi everybody, Mr. Kolakowski here. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on the wave interference concept builders. And uh, let me go ahead and get started. Hey uh, guys, can you come here? You want to say hi real quick? All right, this is my daughter Eleanor. She's going to say hi. Hi. All right. Hi. All right, so thought I'd just let you, uh, you guys get a, a quick uh, check-in on the family here. Okay, um, wave interference is a unique attribute of this particular kind of physics we're looking at. Waves don't behave like particles. So if you take two or more waves, you put them at the same place at the same time, they're going to interact with each other in a unique way. Uh, what happens with particles is they'll hit and bounce off of each other, but waves don't do that. When two waves are at the same place at the same time, like let's say sound waves or light waves, water waves, what they do is they occupy the same place at the same time and they undergo this weird thing called the superposition principle. Um, let me show you kind of a picture of this. So this is from the, uh, from the book. And uh, what we see here is uh, two waves. You can see uh, the amplitudes here will put add together to reinforce one another. Uh, you have two amplitudes here that are on the positive side. You have two amplitudes here that are, not, that are on the negative side and they add together to make a new combined wave uh, that is uh, through constructive interference has, has a taller amplitude. Again, this is when the two waves are at the same place at the same time. Um, in this picture, we can see two waves that are added together, but they're out of phase. So this positive amplitude here lines up with this negative amplitude over here. This negative amplitude here lines up with this positive amplitude there to create cancellation. And your net result is nothing. Okay. Waves do this. Uh, in this picture, you can see these water waves are overlapping and it's creating an interference pattern. Um, wave interference happens uh, in a lot of different situations. One of the more significant situations is when waves that are sent through a rope or a string are going to, uh, periodic waves are going to be sent going left to right. Those periodic waves going left to right are going to interact with waves that are reflecting, that are going uh, uh, right to left. And as a result, the incident wave and the reflected wave, if they're going to line up in just the right way, it creates a standing wave, which is a wave that appears to be standing still in places at what they call nodes. Um, kind of a, the picture that you see here on the PowerPoint, um, this is described really well in the textbook, uh, is a, this picture right here is a standing wave. We would call this the second harmonic in the series. It's, it's just a really interesting way to show you an example of constructive and destructive interference of waves. Um, okay, so let me go into the uh, concept builder itself. Okay, the first one here is, um, I don't know if I can make this uh, show up as well as I want to, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. This first one here says uh, wave one in red and wave two in blue are moving through the same medium and undergoing interference. They have different wavelengths, frequencies, and amplitudes. For the five labeled points, categorize each as being locations where there's either constructive or destructive interference. So what you do is you, you take a look here um, at the two waves. At point A, you'll notice that we have a positive amplitude for the red and the blue. So when those two things are at the same place at the same time, that's going to cause constructive interference. For Position B, same thing. You have a positive amplitude for the blue wave, a positive amplitude for the red wave. That also will be constructive interference. Um, for the uh, position C, let's see. Again, same thing. That's going to be constructive interference. You have uh, positive amplitude on the red wave, positive on the blue wave. Um, same thing here for D. Now, they're both in the negative side of the story, but that's still going to be constructive interference. Uh, only here, uh, for the picture you're seeing uh, on mine, you have a positive amplitude for blue, blue wave. You have a negative amplitude for the red wave. So when you put those together, that's going to cause a subtraction, or we would call uh, technically uh, that a destructive interference. So 
Um, let's see. So that's my answer. I can check it. And uh, data way. All right. So we got that one right. Uh, let's kind of continue uh, to the main menu. For the second activity here, principle of superposition, um, it says wave one and wave two are undergoing interference. The displacement of the medium at each location depends on the individual displacements of the two waves at that location. For the three labeled locations, determine the nearest estimate of the resulting displacement. For the medium, each square is 0.1 meters along its edges. Okay, so here we have, uh, if I'm looking at position A, we are negative one, 0.1, negative 0.2, negative 0.3, negative 0.4. We're about negative 0.4 and negative 0.2 for the blue. So together that should be negative 0.6 meters. Again, what I'm doing is I'm taking the, the crests, um, I guess these would, be, these would be troughs. I'm taking the troughs, I'm finding out the amplitude and I'm putting those together in a constructive way to get the resulting uh, interference result, okay? Uh, let's try uh, the other one here for position B. I have a positive 0.2 and a negative 0.2. Uh, the red one and the blue one put together at the same place at the same time would cancel each other out. Uh, we would call that destructive interference. And then over here for position C, we have zero and let's see, one, two, three, four squares. So that's about negative 0.4. Again, I'm trying to, this is the first time I'm kind of doing this particular problem. Let's check our answers. All right, we're doing okay so far. Let's uh, go back to the main uh, menu. And uh, I imagine that this last one is going to be a, a summary of the two. Okay, here, uh, two waves undergo interference. You have to determine the shape of the resultant wave or the wave sum. To begin, drag each gray dot towards the height the resultant would have. Okay, uh, so just to show you that real quick, uh, we have uh, two, the blue and the red wave are together at the same place, causing a zero plus zero result. Um, for the next position we have, let's see, uh, the red wave is like negative one point something, then we have a negative two point something. So what we should do there is kind of add that together and in fact, what's really great about this, they're going to give you instant feedback here. Yep, that's it. Uh, let's try over here. So we have negative 2, negative 4, so somewhere down here by negative 6. Oops. 2, 4, 6, somewhere like right there. There we go. And uh, go ahead and finish that up on your own. But what happens is if you were to combine those uh, gray dots, you would find what they call the sum or the resultant wave. I hope that helps everybody. If you have specific questions, email me. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.